Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion, hosted by iClone 3D. I'm Trista Ross and today we're going to be looking at how to pick up and put down objects, especially kind of if you want to change the character's relation with the target object, like pick it up and drop it. I'm going to show you guys how to do that and we're going to be using the linkage tool to achieve this. Now it's very simple to do. Um, I'm just going to play this video here and you're going to see that the character is going to lean towards the bottle and go to pick it up, but of course it isn't attached to his hand. So I'm going to show you the correct way to do this. We're going to firstly click on the bottle and all we want to basically do in this scenario is we're going to link this prop to the character's hand. Now in this instance, you can see uh, we're going to find the exact point where the character is meant to grab the bottle and we're going to look at the different features here. So we've got the linkage feature here. Now this is what we would use. There's also the attach feature. Now you can use the attach feature to you know, assign a prop to a character's motion and it will follow the motion, but you can't actually release it because the object became the hierarchy of the character's accessory, as you can see here. So if we uh, play this back, you'll see that he does lift the bottle and it does lift. But when we actually release it at this point where we'd want it to detach, so we'll just detach it from that point. And if we play this back, um, you're going to see it's no longer a part of the hierarchy and therefore it won't actually ever kind of, you know, grip the bottle or move with the prop, etc. So we don't want to use the attach feature to achieve this. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to link the prop to the character at certain points in the scene. And you're going to see it's going to achieve the goal that we want. So we're just going to pick the right hand and we've linked it to the right hand. And now you can see he picks it up perfectly. And now we just want to set the point where we want to detach it. And you'll see that will detach from the prop and we'll get the desired results that we want. So it's really simple guys. It really is just, you know, about linking the prop at a certain point and detaching it at the point where you want to release it. And that will then give you the great results here that you're seeing on the screen. So it really is that simple. And, you know, just to kind of check the before and after you'll see, you know, quite a difference in terms of what we've done, but simply just by linking the prop, it is that simple to do. And, you know, you can see here at this point, it becomes linked. And at this point, it becomes unlinked, as you can see here in the linkage section. So it really is just as easy as that. And uh, we'll just go down here into our constraints and you can see the link section here. And what we're going to do is if you wanted to actually export the animation, you could do that in one file using an FBX out or you could flatten the object motion up here. So you just go to flatten object animation and flatten all the motion with constraints. And that will simply bake all the clips together. And now if you export that out, all of those motions will be within that motion clip. So it really is that simple to do, guys. And uh, we'll just play that back. And you can see again, really, really fluid and really simple. And here's the before and after. And we can see exactly what's going on. So, you know, we're just using the reach target and the linkage tool to link the hand to the prop. That simple. Really hope it helps and hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.